Introducing the Statlock Foley Stabilization Device, designed for the stabilization of indwelling urinary catheters. Traditional habit-based methods of Foley catheter securement have limitations that may lead to accidental dislodgement, urethral irritation, pain, urethral trauma, and inflammation. In fact, CDC guidelines state indwelling catheters should be properly secured after insertion to prevent movement and urethral traction. The Statlock Foley stabilization device is specifically designed to secure Foley catheters in order to minimize movement and maximize patient outcomes by alleviating urethral irritation. So watch and listen closely. The few minutes you spend now will allow you to become Statlock device proficient. There are four versions of the Statlock Foley stabilization device, adult and pediatric, both for standard latex Foley catheters and for webbed silicone catheters. While specifically designed for bifurcated catheters, sizes 8 to 22 French, the Statlock Foley stabilization device can be used to secure larger catheters, as well as trifurcated catheters. Applying the Statlock Foley stabilization device is as simple as prep, press, peel, and place. First, have the patient extend the hip fully. Failure to do so will result in undue traction on the catheter. Then identify the Statlock device securement site on the anterior thigh. Be sure to place the Statlock device so that there's only one inch of slack in the catheter between the insertion site and the Statlock device retainer. Too much slack will allow the catheter to over-rotate and cause kinking. Proper skin preparation is essential to the success of the Statlock Foley stabilization device. So first, be sure to cover an area larger than the actual targeted securement site and use three to four alcohol pads to cleanse and degrease the skin, removing any lotions or oils if present. Allow it to dry completely. Second, and very important for skin protection and maximal adherence, apply both skin protectant pads to the targeted area. And again, be sure to cover an area larger than the actual targeted securement site. Allow it to dry completely for 10 to 15 seconds. Remember, alcohol first, skin protectant, and allow each to dry completely. To avoid exerting undue pressure on the patient's skin, Always press the Foley catheter into the Statlock device retainer before applying the anchor pad. To accomplish this, position the Statlock device anchor pad over the targeted location with the arrow on the Statlock device clamp pointing toward the catheter tip. Then, press the Foley catheter bifurcation into the Statlock device retainer and close the lid, being careful to avoid pinching the catheter. Once you confirm again that there's only one inch of slack between the insertion site and the Statlock device retainer, carefully peel away the paper backing from the Statlock device anchor pad one side at a time and place on dry prepared skin. Prep, press, peel, and place. Statlock device safety, security, and savings are now yours. Removal of the Statlock Foley stabilization device is as simple as disengage and dissolve. To disengage the Statlock Foley stabilization device, press with your thumbs while lifting the lid. Now simply remove the catheter from the retainer. All Statlock devices have a custom formulated adhesive that is alcohol soluble. Therefore, 
to remove the StatLock device anchor pad. Simply take three to four alcohol pads and squeeze a generous amount of alcohol near the edge of the pad. Allow a few seconds for the alcohol to dissolve the adhesive. Then lift the edge. Continue by stroking the undersurface with alcohol while gently lifting. Removing the StatLock device is that easy. First disengage, then dissolve. For catheters larger than 22 French or catheters that do not fit easily into the retainer, place the fluid channel of the catheter outside the StatLock device retainer and secure the balloon sidearm in whichever channel provides the snuggest fit. For most trifurcated Foley catheters, simply capture two of the three channels within the StatLock device retainer and allow the third arm to sit outside. When tension on the catheter is desired, as for example after radical prostatectomy when balloon tamponade is needed, simply apply the StatLock Foley stabilization device to the anterior thigh with the thigh in measured flexion. Once secure, gently extend the hip. The StatLock Foley Stabilization Device, designed to deliver safety, security, and savings.